Hey, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the splice method, which is another method on the array prototype. And for this me method, basically it has three parameters. The first one is required and that is the index in which you want to start splicing things out of the array. The second one is optional and that's the amount of things that you want to delete. If you don't, if you don't specify a delete count, it's just going to delete everything that's after your start count. And then the third parameter is some additional items that you want to add in to the exact place where you started splicing stuff out. And we'll see that in the example in a bit. So again, what splice does is it removes elements from an array. It will modify the existing array, so kind of keep that in mind. And also it's going to return you a new array that has all the elements that you just removed. That's kind of useful in case you want to like keep track of what's been removed. All right, so for the first argument, that is again the begin index, and very similar to slice, if you were to put a index in here, such as like two, that's going to tell us where we need to start splicing things out from this array that we have. So if I do a two, obviously that's going to point to this two index. And without specifying that second parameter, basically it's going to splice out everything that's starting at and after that two index. So all these would be spliced out and returned in a new array. And then these two original elements would be removed from this array. So we should have a new array that has CD in it, and then the original array should have AB in it. So let's go ahead and look at how that works with JavaScript. So I'm going to go to my JSBin tab here, and I'm going to go ahead and just put splice of two. And remember, if I run this, we should see the original array, which is the first thing I'm printing out here, has two elements where AB is remains consistent in that array. And the stuff that we took out of that array would be everything after including index two, which is C and D. So that's not, not too complicated. And to play around with this a little bit, if you do zero, obviously that's going to remove everything from the array, right? So if you see the original array has nothing in it anymore, and then we got back a new array with all those elements we just removed. And then of course, if you play around and just do like something that's out of bounds, like a 10, it's not going to affect your original array at all, and it's going to return you a blank array. So cool stuff to keep in mind. Again, like slice, if I go back and I do a negative two here, so in fact, I'll just do a negative three to change it up a little bit. So negative three, basically that means I need to go back three indices from the back. So one, two, three, that's going to point here. And just like the slice method, that's going to remove, or not just like the slice method, but similar to the slice method, we can do negative numbers to go from the end of the array backwards. And if we were to call splice negative three on this, it's going to return us in our new array with BCD in it. And it's going to remove those elements B, C, D from this array. So let's go back to JSBin and just try that out. So again, we're doing negative three. So three elements from the back. We should be left with a array that has A in it. And then B, C, D is the new array that's returned. So moving on to the second parameter. If you remember here, it, there's an optional second parameter, which is the count. So let me just go ahead and add in another comma there. And let's start with doing index one. I want to splice out two elements, right? I want to get rid of B and C from this array. So to do that, you'd simply just put in the count that you want. So I'm going to say uh, use a count of two, which is basically going to start at this index one and go one, two over and remove up to there. So again, this is going to splice those two out of the array and return them in a new array. And it's going to remove those two from our existing array. So let's go back to JSBin and try that out. So change this to one comma two. And we get back A and D. So if you notice here, it did remove B and C here. And we got those back in our return statement. And another thing I'll just kind of demo is if we wanted to remove the last two elements from this array, we could just simply do a negative number. 
So I'm going to do negative 2 here. I'm going to give it a count of 2. So negative 2 is going to go negative 1, negative 2. So that's our start index now. And if I wanted to remove the last two elements of any array of any length, I again just pass 2. So this would be 1, 2, going to there kind of a repetitive process. It should be making sense by now, but I'm just going to continuously highlight just so it makes sense. So again, C and D should be removed and returned to us. So let's go back and try that out. So negative two and two, and we get back C and D. All right, so let's move on to the last third optional parameter, which is a continuous list of elements you want to add in. So just so we can hit the ground running, I'm just going to put two additional items that we want to add in. All right, so let's start at, let's say, index 1 again. And we want to add in and replace the character B with two additional characters. So if I were to put a count of 1, that'll take us to here. So it's going to splice out B from this array. But then these additional parameters over here is these are useful for adding in things to where we're splicing out. So pretty much at index one. So if I wanted to add in the letter T and the letter Z, what's going to happen is this array is going to grow in length. Everything is going to shift over. So let me just delete all of these. So this is a C. B has been removed because we spliced it out. And it's going to put in T and Z in place of where we were just at. So this is kind of useful if you wanted to remove an element and then replace it. Um, but if you just want to remove an element, obviously you could just do, you know, overwrite the index at a certain index. Overwrite the array at a certain index. So let's try this out in JSBin. So we're splicing from index one, count of one. We want to pass in T and we want to pass in Z. So after running this, you notice that the B was removed from the original right here. And in its place, we put in a T and we put in a Z. And now our original array is a length of five. And just to kind of demo, you can put as many additional arguments as you want here. So I could put like Z, E, uh, Y. And that's going to add that list into your original array. So that kind of sums up the splice method. Again, first argument is the starting index. Second one is the count or how many elements from that starting in index you want to splice out. And then the third parameter is just an optional list of additional elements you want to push into that start index.